Want to know another great feeling of being a proud owner of a Ford Ranger? Freedom. Freedom to go almost anywhere you choose. From your day-to-day -day highway to a more adventurous rocky slope like this one. Stay with me to find out about your Ford Ranger's four-wheel drive system and when to use each drive mode. First things first, this is your Ford Ranger manual. This should be the number one source of information for all things regarding your Ford Ranger, with this video being a quick heads up on certain Ford Ranger related topics. Now that that's out of the way, let's find out how to switch between drive modes. As you can see, this knob right here is how you switch between one of three drive modes. 2H, rear wheel drive, 4H, four wheel drive, high range, and 4L, four wheel drive, low range. What does this all mean? Let's start with 2H first. The 2H mode, otherwise known as rear wheel drive, is the default drive mode your Ford Ranger would be set to, providing power to the rear wheels. This is meant for everyday on-road driving conditions. Even when you're carrying cargo in the truck bed, this should be the mode to use because it promotes better fuel economy. Now, let's move on to the first of two different four-wheel drive modes. Let's start with 4H or four-wheel drive high range. This mode is meant for off-road driving conditions where you'd be driving through terrain such as gravel, sand, shallow mud, very much the location we're in right now. The ground here is uneven and the sand is loose, which means this is a perfect example of when you would go into 4H mode to ensure that navigating through this isn't a problem. You can also use this mode when driving through extreme weather conditions, such as heavy rain or minor floods. This will ensure that your Ford Ranger has better traction when driving through these conditions and to make sure that you're always in control. Since the Ford Ranger is equipped with an electronic shift-on-the-fly transfer box, you can change from 2H to 4H whilst driving at up to speeds of 120 km per hour. Now, moving on to four-wheel drive low range, or 4L for short. We're going into heavy-duty mode here as this drive mode will provide your Ford Ranger with higher power at lower speeds so you can drive through scenarios like deeper mud, sand, and even up rocky slopes like this one right here. To change into this drive mode, you need to have your Ford Ranger in a stationary position whilst the gear is in neutral. Switch to 4L, wait for the notification, and you're good to go. The most important thing to note here is lower speeds. And what this obviously means is that you need to take your time when traversing into tough and rugged terrain. Another thing that would help would be the Ford Ranger's e-locking rear differential, which gives you the best possible control over the terrain you're navigating through. Another feature which goes hand-in-hand hand with your off-road experience is the Ford Ranger's Hill Descent feature, which uses traction control technology with anti-lock brakes to help you maintain a constant speed while driving down a steep grade. On a side note, if you've never been off-road before, it's always advisable to have someone experienced for company. Also, it's good to point out that the Ford Ranger has a 237mm ground clearance and a water weighting capability of 800mm. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about the Ford Ranger's four-wheel drive system and a feature or two to help you along the way. That's all from me. Take care and drive safe.